Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad First round 2011-2012, problem number 1 We wish to find all the real numbers x, y and z satisfying the following system of equations y plus z cubed equals 8x, z plus x cubed equals 8y, x plus y cubed equals 8 times z It's a fairly simple problem, here are my hints Take cube roots uh, on every equation to show that x plus 2 cube root of x equals y plus 2 cube root of y equals z plus 2 cube root of z. And notice that function which maps real number t to t plus 2 times cube root of t is strictly increasing, hence injective. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so as I suggested, Let's take our three equations and let's take cube roots. So we have y plus z equals 2 cube root of x, z plus x equals 2 cube root of y, x plus y equals 2 cube root of z. All right, and let's, let's take our first equation and let's add x. Let's take second equation and let's add y and let's take the very last equation and let's add z all right so notice that from these three equations we see we see that in particular x plus 2 cube root of x equals y plus 2 cube root of y equals z plus 2 cube root of z all right, but now let's also notice that function which maps takes a real number t and maps it to t plus 2 cube root of t, this function is strictly increasing. Strictly increasing, hence injective. Well, why is that? Well, because cube root of is an increasing function. T is also an increasing function. Sum of two increasing functions is again increasing. All right, so now we know that <clears throat> our function is, incre is increasing, hence injective. So notice that since we have three values which are the same, by injectivity, the arguments must be the same. So x equals y equals z. And now let's go back to our very first equation. It suffices to solve the very first equation. And let's put, instead of y and z, let's put x. So 2x cubed equals 8x. So x cubed equals x. And we have three solutions. x is minus 1 or 0 or 1 which means that we have exactly three triples of solutions. Minus one, minus one, minus one, or zero, 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 or one, one, one. And that really closes our problem. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.